In this short video lecture, we are going to solve an example problem from heat transfer. The problem states, one wall of a building is 10 meters long and 4 meters high. The wall material has an effective thermal resistance of 2 square meters times Kelvin divided by watts. The wall also has five windows that are each 1 by 1 meter and they're 5 millimeters thick. The windows have a thermal conductivity of 1.4 watts per meter Kelvin. The inside temperature is 20 degrees with a convective heat transfer coefficient of 10 watts per square meter per Kelvin, and the outside temperature is 0 degrees, and that outside um, convection coefficient is 15. So we we're asked how much heat is lost through the wall. So if you look in the video description below, you'll find a link to another method for solving this where we consider heat transfer through the walls and the windows to be um, two processes happening in parallel, so we get the total thermal resistance for the whole wall. We're going to solve that differently this time, so that, and we'll find out that we get the same mathematical answer. So here's our wall. It's 10 meters wide, it's 4 meters high, and then we have these five windows. So we're going to have heat transfer through each of the windows, and we're going to have heat transfer through this wall, and we can actually treat those as two separate processes entirely. So first we would find our area of the windows. There are five windows, they're each one meter by one meter, so that is five square meters of total window area, and the area of the remaining wall is 10 meters by 4 meters minus our window area. So this is 35 square meters. All right, so now we do have, we still have thermal resistances in series through each of these elements. So our thermal resistance, total thermal resistance for the wall, we have to have heat that goes, that convects from this inner room temperature to this inner wall surface then that heat has to conduct through the wall, and then it has to go from the outer wall surface out into the ambient. The same thing happens through the window. We have to convect from inside to the inner surface of the window, then through the window, and then to outside. So each of these has three thermal resistances happening in series. So the way to account for the total amount of heat transfer is to um, use this equation. So let's start with the window, so Q through the window is, actually let's get the, f yeah, Q through the window is equal to our flux through the window times our area through the window, which is equal to our area times the inside temperature minus the outside temperature divided by the total thermal resistance. So for the window, to get that total thermal resistance, we first get, oh, and this is the four unit area um, version of this equation. So we have to, we first go one over HI plus, and now this for the window is the thickness of the window divided by K, and then we have convection so 1 over HO. So we have the thermal resistance um, by convection on the inside, then we have the conductive thermal resistance going through the window itself, and then we have the thermal resistance by convection from the outer window surface to the ambient. So if we were to plug and chug, we get this is 1 over 10 watts per meter squared Kelvin. Our windows were 5 millimeters thick, which is 0 0.005 meters divided by our thermal conductivity, 1.4 watts per meter Kelvin, plus 1 over 15 watts per meter squared Kelvin. So we end up with a total thermal resistance through four unit area through the windows of 0 0.170 meter squared Kelvin per watt. Then if we do the same thing for the wall, it's similar, we actually have the same convective resistances, so 1 over 10 watts per meter squared Kelvin. Here, instead of using L over K, we're actually given that R double prime term 
representing the conductive thermal resistance through the wall, and that was 2 meters squared Kelvin per watt. And then finally we have our outer convective thermal resistance, which is 1 over 15 watts per meter squared Kelvin. So the total thermal resistance for unit area through the wall is 2.167. And that is meter squared Kelvin per watt. Okay, so now we can just say that our total heat loss is equal to what we lose through the wall plus what we lose through the window, which is equal to the area of the wall divided by this R double prime wall that we just calculated and that is multiplied by T in minus T out. So this term is just that Q wall term. And then here we have our total window area divided by R double prime window. And here we have the same T in minus T out, which just represents the total Q through the window. So once we plug everything in, we end up with Q total is equal to 35 square meters divided by this 2.167 meters squared Kelvin per watt times our temperature difference, which is 20 Kelvin or 20 degrees C. Same thing because it's a, a change in temperature. It's um, and not an absolute temperature. And we have our total window area, 5 meters squared and the thermal resistance is much lower through the windows. So our thermal resistance through the window was 0 0.170 meters squared Kelvin per watt. And we have that same temperature difference of 20 Kelvin and we end up with a total heat loss of 911.3 watts. So again, you can solve this method by calculating the total thermal resistance, which includes the windows and the wall, and you'll end up with an equation that looks mathematically identical to this. You might have to do some algebra to manipulate it, but um, you'll find that those two methods are equivalent and we get 911.3 watts in each case.